for Dale Gordon, it's a brand new experience. They're on a full strength Rangers team with Nigel Spackman fully recovered from a calf injury and Mark Haightley free of a flu virus. A 51,000 capacity crowd. Watch what may well turn out to be a crucial match in the league season. Neither side can afford to contemplate anything other than victory, particularly Celtic, I reckon, with the deficit in the league behind Hearts and Rangers. And there's a very hefty collision early on, Cascarino and Kuznetsov, or Peter Grant. Collins playing it forward, there's Cascarino tackled by Stephen De Roo. hectic stuff early on as Collins tries to break. Mikhailichenko made the challenge on Collins. That's good play by Galloway, stepping away from Mikhailichenko. The early cross, looking there for Collins. That's Cascarino on the turn, closely marked by Kuznetsov. Got it quite challenging fiercely. Spikeman got the ball away, and goes Galloway, beating the ball by Robertson. And on the break, Mikhailichenko finds McCoy. This is Gordon, great play from Rangers. McCoy still free in the right, this is the chance for Rangers. Magnificent counter-attack there from Rangers, and McCoy is coming so close to the opening goal. Here's Bill Gordon again, tackled firmly by White. In the middle it goes from McCall, Haightley's layoff, picked up by McCoy. It's a deadly striking duo, there's Haightley! Yeah, to test Gordon, Marshall in goal. It's away, and Mowbray and Marshall on the line, beating that out. And then Tony Mowbray was confident enough to turn that back to the keeper, who only just kept it out. Mowbray's in trouble, here's Haightley, this is McCoy for the chance. Blocked from the line, that appeared to be handball by McNally, the referee saw nothing wrong with that. McCoy's can't believe it, there's no penalty kick for Rangers. Here was McCoy playing it in. It appeared to strike the hand of McNally, but accidentally in the view of the referee. And what a letter that is! Haightley miscued the header. Here's McStay. Willing that from Spikeman, a chance on for Celtic. McStay playing it wide. And the first time effort came from Tommy Cole. Well by McCall. McCoy. Mikhailichenko. McCoy again. Taking on McNally. And a cross by Galloway. John Collins was in across the bowels of Gary Stevens. That's cut off by Stuart McCall. And Mowbray goes in. Well, you hardly call that late. It was almost posthumous. It was a very, very reckless challenge by Mowbray. Gasquino's head up. There's Peter Grant. Turning straight into Spackman, who's strong enough to get through White. Here's Dale Gordon, this is a good chance for Rangers, right on the half-time whistle. Cross to Haightley, here's McCoy! It's first blood to Rangers, right on the half-time whistle. The jubilation among these Rangers fans, it looked inevitable, the half-time would come with no scoring. But McCoy gets his 22nd goal of the season, set up here by Dale Gordon initially, and then Haightley sent over this very good ball, a dangerous one. Marshall was off balance, and sliding in was McCoy. Well, here was Dale Gordon, this is a treacherous ball played across. Haightley kept it into the injured area, McCoy on his own. at half-time at Celtic Park, at Celtic nil, Rangers won. So Rangers prepare to start the second half. They have seven players on the side who cost a million pounds or more. And some of the football they offered in that first half certainly was worthy of the expenditure. But for Celtic, it was a major body blow right on half-time. And they seem to have fought their way back into the way from Coyne, who retrieves quickly now for Celtic. Derek White with Collins. Well tackled by Goff. He's cornered, driven in, and a bulleted header from Tony Mowbray. Well, the referee's still not happy. Well, I think the doctor may require to come involved inside. With 
Celtic with just the 10 men. Tommy Coyne has been withdrawn into midfield, leaving only Tony Cascarino up front. That's why they're so thin so, in the ground when the ball goes forward. Here's Dale Gordon. Back with McCall. One goal apiece. Celtic continuing with only one, with only 10 men. McCoy tries to break away from McNally. McNally's going to be in trouble here. They're bringing down McCoy. McCall goes off and Brown goes on. Well, Brown passes on the instructions. But it looks as though he's going into a left central midfield position as McStay reappears on the touchline with that face damage all plastered up there's no sign of blood now there could be no objection surely to McStay coming back on it came off the head of Stevens. John Brown loves it forward poor head of that giving a chance for Stevens and the ball back inside Mowbray beach Haitley in the air Stevens again Find a way through the gap. The great ball inside is sent by Gordon Marshall from Halstra. And that must be a candidate for save of the season. Amazing reflexes there by Gordon Marshall. Gasparino maintaining possession well. Brown picks up the loose ball in midfield though. That's for McCoy. Marshall is committed. And McCoy can't get up, and the ref is given a penalty. Gordon Marshall penalised for holding on to McCoy's legs. The keeper goes to argue the point. We'll see it from here, though. The ball played through by John Brown. There was McCoy. Marshall came to meet him. He couldn't keep his hands on the ball, though. Now, as McCoy got up, there was Gordon Marshall lying there, holding on to McCoy. Well, it's a very tight decision. So it's Haitley against Marshall. Beautifully taken penalty kick. Rangers are back in front. And Haitley gets his 14th goal of the season. Well, the Celtic players harboring a sense of injustice about all that. But Haitley took that with real composure. Marshall certainly went the right way, made a very good effort. But the pace of the ball beat him. Craney setting up for Galloway. Queuing up in the middle for this. Here's Collins. Setting it up for Paul McStay. The great effort by McStay and the save from Andy Gordon denies the Celtic captain. Set up here by John Collins for Paul McStay. He set himself for the shot and Gordon brought up yet another magnificent save. Galloway sending in the long ball towards Cascarino. He's well beaten by Stevens, then Spikeman out of the centre set up something on the break for Rangers. Hatley on the right, holding the play up for Stevens. Spikeman again. John Brown's in the middle. Alstra on the left, McCoy's in the inside right position. Here's Brown going all the way himself. That settles it! John Brown ends the match in a contest with that rifling left foot shot. And a very unlikely scoreline results from that recent spell of activity in front of Andy Gorham. So John Brown appearing there for only his second goal of the season. Well, one minute into injury time, the Celtic defence backed off and they're marking McCoy's the house trap. And that shot hit went fine. Accuracy and power by John Brown. He's so deadly on that left foot, given far too much space by the Celtic defence. And Marshall couldn't reach it. But there's no more time. The